What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. This highlight video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, available now for takeout and dining outside. So please support the companies that support Long Beach sports coverage. This is also our game of the week as part of our partnership with the Long Beach Post. And it's also a check on the pulse for Long Beach State men's basketball, hosting Irvine on Saturday at Walter Pyramid for the regular season finale. They're going to do it without Michael Carter III, one of their top players, because Coach Dan Munson dismissed him from the program, stemming from an altercation after their game on Friday. Beach also trying to snap a six-game losing streak where all the losses came by three points or less. So a lot going on in this game before the Big West Conference tournament starts on Tuesday. Not surprised at all to see Long Beach struggling on offense from the jump in this one. Michael Carter III, a leading scorer, a prominent creator. You can see the beach pressing, maybe a little too much. Almost looked like they were ready for something bad to happen, which for a team that had their season paused three times due to COVID tests, you can see why. You see Irvine not having problems, taking a 10-0 lead, quickly forcing a Long Beach timeout. Also not shocking. College basketball, some defense, a little bit of effort getting on the floor. Going to get you back in this game is RJ Roden gets there, draws the foul, gets to the line, gets Long Beach on the scoreboard. Then the star of the night, Colin Slater, comes off the bench and makes his first three shots, all coming from three-point range. The senior playing his last game in Walter Pyramid, making the most of it, team high 15 points, gives Long Beach a lead after the 10-minute mark, and that would be it. The big men from Irvine always seem to have the answer at the other end. In this one, Brad Green, two of his nine points. Slater also able to create a few shots. Joe Hampton, three of his 10 points. Romel Manziel also in double figures with 11 points and nine rebounds, but still at the other end. Ant Eaters having no problem getting close to the cup. Outscored Long Beach 38 20 in the paint, and then DJ Davis on the ones and twos with that fake and finish puts UC Irvine up five at the break. The whirling dervish that is Colin Welp gets UC Irvine going in the second half, and away the Wizards went on a 16 5 run that effectively ended this game just a few minutes after halftime. Long Beach pulled within 10, but Eaters just never really in danger of losing their lead. It's why they're one of the favorites to get to that Big West Conference Tournament Championship game. And as we look at some of the clips from the second half, they're gonna tell you how the second half went. I'm gonna read you a quote from head coach Dan Munson that he said after asked what the state of his program was in the post-game press conferences. Quote, I think the state of the program is fine and the fact that this COVID year has been difficult for these kids and I'm really proud of their perseverance. But today is our second loss by more than three points in the Big West Conference, and I know we've had the least amount of practices than anyone in the league. Is that disappointing? Yeah, it certainly was. And I don't think you can evaluate the state of the program by those 12 games this year. I think we have some really good players. We might lose on Tuesday, but I wouldn't count us out of any game played next week. My expectation is to win it and go to the NCAA tournament. I told my guys to pack for two weeks. Well, we gonna see. Long Beach State seeded number nine for that tournament, the worst in more than a decade for a Munson-led team, taking on number eight, Cal State Northridge. That's the first round in Las Vegas at the tournament, Tuesday, 3 p.m. It's going to be on ESPN3. Thanks, as always, to all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center. And if you want to keep following everything Long Beach sports, you keep following the 562.org.